Nehemiah chapter 7. Now it came to pass when the wall was built, and I had set up the doors, and the porters, the singers, and the Levites were appointed. To get things established, the wall is done. That I gave my brother Hanai and Hananiah, the ruler of the palace, charge over Jerusalem. Now who is he put in charge? For he was a faithful man, and he feared God above many. Those are the rulers, those are the people you put in charge. And when you look at the church today, how many men are in charge of the church? Office of deacons, whatever they call it. How many men are, are faithful men? How many men fear God above the people in the congregation? That's one of the qualifications to be a ruler. Of many qualifications that we do see in the Bible. And I said unto him the charge. Let not the gates of Jerusalem be open until the sun be hot. Round new. <clears throat> and while they stand by, let them shut the doors and bar them. And appoint watches of the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Set men to be in charge to watch over to protect. Everyone in his watch. Everyone to be over his, against his house. Now the city was large and great. But the people were few therein, and the houses were not building. So they're, they're establishing themselves. And the first thing they did was they built the temple. And then the second thing, they built a wall around the city. Now they're going to start establishing themselves. Now chapter, uh, chapter 7, 5 on is a list that we're going to see that was in Ezra. There are some changes. And my God put into my heart to gather together the nobles and the rulers and the people that they may be reckoned by genealogy. Now genealogy is important to Jews, not, not Gentiles. Genealogy is approved you are of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? You're not of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. You are a heathen. You are not a Jewish person. And then now you're classified with Jacob. You are one of the 12 tribes. That's important because the land is divided among the 12 tribes. Now there's one tribe given of a special more honor, the tribe of Levi. Of the Levites, there's an order out of them called the priests, and they had to be the sons of Aaron. All priests are Levites, but not all Levites are priests. There's no other nation that has the classifications in the division that God has given to the children of Israel. These are the children of the province that went up out of the captivity of those that had been carried away, whom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had carried away and came again to Jerusalem and Judah, every one unto his own city. Now the names are going to be cities. After we get to verse 8, it will be name of city. Who were with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, that's the high priest, Nehemiah, Azrael, Remaniah, Nehame, Mordecai, that is not the Mordecai of uh, Esther, Bilshan, Mesereth, Bigville, Nehem, Benaiah, the number I say, look at that importance, because it's different from Ezra's. Of the men of the people of Israel, were, was this, huh? How can you tell that that's not the Mordecai from That's pretty much what they, everybody said, said, I guess Mordecai would have been so old to go, and it would probably have a special classification because he was a ruler in Persia. Uh, that's what they say. The children of Perush, 2,172. The children of Sephatiah, 372. The children of Ara, 652. The children of Path of Moab, 
of the children of Jeshua and Joab, 2,818. The children of Elam, 1,254. The children of Zatu, 845. The children of Zakai, 703 score. The children of Binua, 646. The children of Bibai, 628. The children of Asgad, 2,322. The children of Adekiah, 603 score and seven. Ezra 213, there's, there's six score, it's 603 score and six. 666. Not in Nehemiah. You get one extra. I don't know. And the children of Big Vale, 2003 score and seven. The children of Adin, 655. The children of Atter, of Hezekiah, 90 and eight. The children of Hashem, 320 and eight. The children of Beezei, 324. The children of Harfa, 112. The children of Gibeon, 95. The men of Bethlehem and Nethapha, 104 score and eight. The men of Antioch, that's where Jeremiah is from. That is a Levitical city. 120 and eight. The men of Beth Asaph, 40 and two. The men of Kirch of Jerem, Shephriah, Beria, 740 and three. The men of Ramoth and Gibeah, 620 and one. The men of Machmas, 120 and two. The men of Bethel and Ai, two important spots of the Bible, 120 and three. The men of the other Nebel, 52. The children of Elam, 2,254. The children of Harem, 320. The children of Jericho, the cursed city, 345. The children of Lud, <coughs> hey dead and oh no, 720 and one. The children of Sina, 3,930. The priests, the children of Jediah, the house of Jeshua, I pray, 973. The children of Immer, 1,052. The children of Pasher, 1,247. The children of Haram, 1,017. The Levites, again, all priests are Levites, but not all Levites are priests. The Levites, the children of Jeshua of Cadmiel, so that's not just with the high priest. And the children of Hodera, 70 and 4. The singers. Children of Asaph. Look how he keeps showing up. That's the man put in charge by David during the time of David that he is so faithful you see his name in the Psalms and his children are still showing up the 70 years after the captivity. And they're still in their position of singing. 140 and 8. The porters, gatekeepers. The children of Shalom, the children of Atzer, the children of Talmud, the children of Akab, the children of Hetiah, the children of Shabaya, 130 and 8. The Nethanim, the children of Ziha, the children of Heshepha, the children of Tabith, the children of Kiria, the children of Syed, the children of Padan, the children of Libya, the children of Agaba, the children of Shamel, the children of Hanan, the children of Gibeo, the children of Gar, the children of Riah, the children of Rizan, the children of Nikoda, the children of Gazim, the children of Uzzah, the children of Pasha, the children of Bci, the children of Meun, the children of Nephishim, the children of Bakba, the children of Hakapa, the children of Hihar. The children of Beza, the children of Meida, the children of Harsha, the children of Barkos, the children of Caesarea, the children of Tara, the children of Neha, the children of Hephatiah. No number. No count. The children of Solomon's servants, the son of Sotai, the children of Sopharet, the children of Perida, the children of Jao, the children of Darkar, the children of Galio, 
children of Sapphire, the children of Hetile, the children of Pachrith, of Zephyr, the children of Ammon. All the Nephites and the children of Solomon's servants were 392. These were they which went also up from Tel Me, Tel Nishna. Now, Tel is today, is when you go through archaeology, you find this mountain, this this hill where there once was a city. Tel Aviv is the hill of Aviv. And they dig around, they, they dig up this hill of centuries of people founded upon that city. Sherub, Adon, Immer, but they could not show their father's house, nor their seed, neither were they of Israel. Okay, there's something else, of something else. There's no proof. No Jehovah Witness can prove he's of Israel when Revelation says that it will be of the 12 tribes, minus Dan and Ephraim, where Joseph and Levi are mentioned. The children of Deliah, the children of Tobit, the children of Nekoda, 642. And of the priests, the children of Tobiah, the children of Koz, the children of Barzillai, which took one of the daughters of Barzillai, the Gileite, to wife, and was called after their name. Took the wife's name. They sought their registry among those that were reckoned by genealogy, but it was not found. Therefore they were as as polluted, as polluted. They're not polluted yet. Put from the priesthood, and the Tarshua, that's the guy in charge, said unto them that they should not eat the most holy things till there stood up the priest with a Urim and Thurim. And remember back in Exodus, those were those things that went in the breastplate of the high priest with the 12 uh, birthstones of the children of Israel. Now, it says that, um, look, look, as polluted. Until they can get that Urim Thurim and say, hey, what is this family here? There is no answer. There is no judgment yet until we can get assurance from God. They may be or they may not be. We're not going to bless them if they're not to be blessed. And we're not going to curse them if we can bless them. So we'll wait for answer. That's perfectly smart to do. And the whole congregation gathered to the whole congregation together was forty and two thousand three hundred and three score. Besides their maid servants, manservants and their maid servants of whom there were 7,337. And they had 245 singer, singing men and singing women. That's a lot. Imagine what that sounded like. I like when they do the, the Handel's Messiah and they got a whole orchestra. But that's not as many people as what we got here. And they're all doing it for the Lord and they're doing it in holiness and they've had much practice. Their horses, 736. Their mules, 245. Their camels, 435. 6,720 6, asses. That's a lot of animals. And some of the chief of the fathers gave unto the work. Now we're going to look at the collection. The Tertia gave unto the treasure a thousand strands of gold, 50 basins, 530 priest garments, already made. They didn't say he gave the fabric. When we look at X's, you know, they, they had the gold and they beat it down the threads and they, they, they made the garment. Garments are already made. They're already preparing. And there's talk now, and I've heard throughout the 80s, when I was first saved into the 90s, that they've got all the priest garments ready. They've got everything all ready. And I don't know. It could be. It may not be. I don't know. 50-50. And some of the chief of the fathers gave to the treasure of the work 20,000 drams of gold, 
a two thousand and two hundred pounds of silver. That which the rest of the people gave was twenty thousand drams of gold, two thousand pounds of silver, and three score and seven priest garments. So the priests and the Levites and the porters and the singers and some of the people in the Nephilims and all Israel dwelt in their cities when the seventh month came. That's a month that has all the, the festivals. The children of Israel were in their city. Now the seventh month, you also have the tabernacle. Nehemiah says, hey, the seventh city, the city's built, everybody's in their places. That would have been a perfect time to have the Messiah born. If you go to scripture, but that's not sound. But that's the possibility. 